pranayam, the fourth limb of ashtang is pranayam, nourishment. So pranayam, the word pran meaning life, yam as we know, rules, understanding what nourishes life. So in a yoga class, the pranayam is represented metaphorically by the breath we take. So there's a lot of focus in a yoga class and when you take postures, breath is central to the posture. So the breath is very calm, opening your diaphragm, the yogic breath, where you open your diaphragm, fill up your lungs from low, and then you exhale completely. So the deep breathing, calm, deep breathing, and sometimes quick breathing. So focus on the breath is very central in yoga. So pranayam is the fourth limb of yoga. It represents the fuel that is needed to take any journey. So for example, if you're driving a car, it may be a wonderful car, but if you don't have gasoline, you can't really go anywhere. So without pranayam, a journey is not nourished. And pranayam has to be nourishing. So energy that we get should be nourishing. Now, in addition to the breath work we do, and in Rasa Yoga, the pranayam is very strong, muscular. It starts from Shant pranayam, and it goes into very muscular movements, which require strength of the body, strength of the limbs, balance. Uh, and so the purpose of pranayam, especially in Rasa Yoga, is to open all our chakras, which means our ability to breathe strongly, nourishes our ability to engage our musculature, to stay strong, hold postures. So pranayam works on all those aspects. Now, in addition to breath, one has to look at pranayam in a general picture, in a bigger picture, which means food we eat and the drinks we take should be nourishing. If you are eating food that is unhealthy, that is bad pranayam. So eating healthy food is also pranayam. Then interaction with other people are also part of our pranayam because a person says nice things to us, that nourishes us. If we say good things about others and to others, that also nourishes them. So pranayam also includes interactions. Love for others and being loved by others and loving others. That is also part of pranayam. Being in nature is also pranayam. So having a beautiful scenery like where I am right now in this beautiful beach, with the sea in the back, the mountains, the beautiful trees, being in a desert, being under stars, looking at the stars, that also is very nourishing. It's nourishing for the soul, for the spirit. So pranayam also includes being in nature, participating in nature, and enjoying the beauty of nature. Music is pranayam, so pranayam extends over all these things. When you hear a beautiful song, voice, even birds singing, people singing, that is also pranayam. It's very nourishing. So anything that gives us nourishment is pranayam. Now, finally, a very important pranayam that should not be ignored is money, wealth. Wealth is also important. So one should not think that I'm a yogi, I don't care about wealth. Wealth is very important. If you have to go somewhere, you need money to buy a ticket, you need money to buy food. You can't just beg, you can't just ask other people because other people are also, if they give you something, they're using their own money. So money is an important part of pranayam. It's part of our journey. So all of these form pranayam. So breath is a direct manifestation. It's just a, it stands as a symbol of pranayam, but one has to recognize all these other things, food, drinks, interaction with people, love, being in nature, music, money, all of that forms a big part of pranayam and we should nourish ourselves with all of those. So that's pranayam, the fourth limb of Ashtanga.